Hello again Storycrafters, we're continuing to make our pumpkin pie slice and we're on the crust because we've made the pie slice here it is I've made the pie slice and what I've done is I've gone ahead and put the base of the cr pie crust that's what I want to say by using um, two eight and uh, these are about uh, an eighth of an inch of cream cardstock and so I've adhered that those strips to the pumpkin pie slice and uh, just with a PVA glue or all-purpose all-purpose glue and so we'll just trim the edges all right so next we want to do the the back the back is made with a piece of cardstock this is cream cardstock and I've cut it so that it should match the back of the slice like that okay but before we attach it what we want to do is we want to create a wave so that it looks like a pie crust how I did that was I just let me just remember remind myself of which way it's supposed to be is it that way or yes definitely that way this way okay so what I did was I took a one inch circle punch and just place it over the cardstock place it so that it's I've been placing it so that it's about uh, not quite an, a half maybe a third of the way uh, through and I'm just going to punch two holes uh, at intervals so like this so Sometimes I like it for it to land on the card. I don't know why I kind of try to aim for that, but never mind. Let's see if we can do it this time around. That's too far up. Okay, somewhere about here. Whoa, I did it. <laughs> it's just a little game I played with myself. I'm easily amused. And so then um, what I did was just to make the waves, I just rounded the corners with uh, a pair of scissors. Now you could draw squiggles along the side and then just cut them out but this was just quick and easy for me to do so just round the corners turning the paper as you cut all right so to make it sort of look a little bit more pie crusty and like it's just come out of the oven, I'm going to use some Versamagic Pumpkin Spice Chalk Ink. Oh, I love that popping sound when it opens. And I'm just giving myself a piece of scratch paper. And I'm going to just dab it with a sponge and then just sponge the edges. Amount, yeah, make sure we've got a good amount of ink coming through. And you're just going to sponge the edges. All the way around. Okay. And the other side. Because remember, we're going to see parts of both sides. Now, with your sort of drier brush, because you've just been sponging the edges, I'm going to, I think I want this side, it doesn't really matter, but let's make this side the back. You're just going to just brush over in sort of crisscrossy patterns. And what this is going to do is look like it's been in the oven for a while. So we're almost sort of aging the paper a little bit. And you kind of want to avoid things like that where I've got the line there. You can see the line of the sponge. If you've got more time, you can take a little bit more care. There we go. And you want to do this right across the back because this will be facing outward. Outward? Is that a word? This will be facing out. I don't know if I'm doing that on camera or off camera. Hold on. Did I do most of that off camera? I'm sorry. 
in there so it sort of looks like that. So it's nice and aged and like it's just come out of a nice warm oven. Okay, so I'm going to turn over once you're happy with that and you can you can spend a bit more time on it. I'm going to just have the back, this is the back, so I'm going to have it facing out and I think this is a little bit too high for my crust, so I think I'm going to trim, I'm going to trim this down a little bit. Okay, let's hope I haven't trimmed this too much. Nope, I think that's fine, that should be fine. Okay. And then I'm going to just kind of eyeball where it, the visible part on top of the slice, which is sort of here. And I'm going to do the same sort of sponging, light sponging on the top part that will be visible. So I think I need a little bit more. Pumpkin spice. Yeah, that should do it. There we go. Mmm, starting to look tasty. Okay. All right, we're almost done. So let's move this out of the way. That's not looking too bad. All right, so I'm just going to apply some adhesive in the middle because I don't want the adhesive coming over the edges. So I'm just going to try and stick to the middle. And then, uh oh soon. Alright, and then just attach it to the back. I'm just kind of line that up. There we go. Okay, and we have our pumpkin slice. Now, the one thing I did, I don't know if you can see, if you can see on this, I don't know if you can see a little, it's a little bit shiny on top because when you have a real pumpkin pie piece, you've got you've got the sort of skin on top that's all nice and shiny and glossy and just says come and eat me so how I did that was I ju just took some of the PVA glue or all-purpose glue and mixed it with a little bit of water and got an old paintbrush and you're just going to paint on top like a glaze and you want to do it in very thin layers because this is construction paper and um, it will absorb a lot of moisture and then if you have too much moisture it will disintegrate. So just really light, just really lightly brush on some of this PVA or glue mixture, all purpose glue mixture. Just sort of brush that on and after a couple of coats of doing the whole area and you just want to do the top you don't want to do what I just did and get some on the sides you want, you want it just on the top I'm trying to hurry because it's on video and don't worry because it's going on white and it's going on quite milky but it will actually dry clear and after a few coats of doing that you should, going back to our pumpkin pie slice, you should get a nice glossy effect.